welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of an ASOS haul for you and I thought I'd do things a little bit differently today. Usually whenever I do a haul video I'm featuring all of the items that I'm planning on keeping and that I'm adding to my wardrobe. Today I've picked out a whole bunch of really fun things and you're going to see a lot of colour because I've said this so many times I'm trying to branch out a little bit and I'd love to get your opinion on what I should actually keep. I'm probably only going to keep two items out of everything just because there are quite a lot of things here and you know I don't want to add too much to my wardrobe but I quite like all of these items so it would be really great to get your feedback in the comments below let me know which was your favorite so I think the first thing to start with is this dress and this really is a huge hit of color for me as you guys know I tend to wear such kind of minimal neutral kind of outfits and this just screams bold, it's really fun, it's playful. This dress is from Misguided and it's just a really lovely mustard polka dot dress. Polka dot's one of my weakness so when I saw this I sort of felt like it fit the bill of the type of things that I add to my closet. It has long sleeves, I've just kind of bunched them up a little bit and then it has an elastic waist, a couple of tiered ruffles and a keyhole closure at the uh, neckline. It also has this really cute little ruffle detail here at the collar as well, which I think is really sweet. This is made out of a polyester fabric, so definitely a lot more geared towards autumn and winter type of seasons. I think it would be really uncomfortable to wear something like this in the summertime. Uh, in terms of fitting my style, I'm not really sure if this is quite the type of thing that I would reach for on a daily basis. It feels just a little bit too feminine for me. I think it's really sweet though, and yeah, would look great with a belt as well. I have actually worn a slip underneath this as well just as I found that the polyester chiffon is a little bit sheer so if you do think of getting this one then definitely something to bear in mind. When I was picking out all of these items I was looking for things that were going to pair together really effortlessly and kind of create a little bit of a mini capsule wardrobe in a sense and of course no closet would be complete without a striped Hot. So I saw this one and this is ASOS own brand and I really like the fit of it, I like the look of it, the fabric is so incredibly soft, it's really nice, it's quite oversized, I'm going to drop all the sizing information in the description box below, but for reference I'm wearing a size 8 here and as you can see, very very oversized, I probably could have gone with a size 6 but the funniest thing is um, I think I got it from the tall section because, look at all this fabric. It's essentially a dress on me, so if you were petite, I'm 5'8", then you could probably get this one and wear it as a dress because I could even wear this as a dress. But in terms of just being a really great kind of a staple, I really like this. Um, I think it's just the wrong size and tall. I need the normal size height version. In terms of being a really great staple, I mean, I think you can't really go wrong with a long sleeve striped top and I love just how soft this feels against my body. I think this is one that would be a really great kind of day-to-day -day type of piece. Then I also picked up these jeans too and these ones are from, is it Stravidarius? I think the brand is called and they're kind of a mom fit jean and I've sort of been looking at mixing up my denim styles this year. It's something I kind of want to focus on because I've just really worn skinny jeans and I haven't really branched out from that for a very long time since I wore boot cut jeans in when I was about 14. So I really liked the wash of these, it's sort of a light blue wash denim. As you can see they're not really too kind of fitted, there is a bit of room here in the front. Uh, I got the size 8 I believe but I wouldn't want to size down, I kind of like the way that these are quite loose fitting through the leg. They do have a bit of distressing to them, they're ripped on the right hand knee, which or sorry on the thigh I mean, um, which I quite like, I like the fact that they're not perfect but they just feel so comfortable. This is the kind of denim that doesn't have a lot of stretch to it but it just feels really soft like it's been washed about a hundred times, you know that really nice worn in denim feeling. That's how these are on the body um, and they've got a nice kind of length to them too. So I personally really like them. I mean I know they're not a super flattering style of jean but I do think that they're very cool and they're definitely kind of that type of jean that's very in at the moment. Now I'm a real sucker for anything linen. It's one of my favourite fabrics. I really gravitate towards natural fibres when it comes to buying anything from my wardrobe. And when I saw these pink linen trousers, I felt like these would be really perfect, particularly living in Sydney where it does get really hot and humid and you really don't want to wear anything too synthetic because it just makes you really hot and sticky. And I quite like these in terms of a work trouser. I will insert kind of a full length so you can see how they look. But they've got an upturned cuff at the ankle, which I think is really nice. 
some pockets. They're very comfortable, like they're not too fitted around the uh, hip area, which I think is good. And they have that seam detail down the front, which I think makes them look really professional and really tailored. So a really great kind of a piece. Uh, and I think these would be a really great alternative to uh, just a normal black trouser for the office. Like you can see, I mean, even just worn with a white shirt, I think these would look really lovely. So I'm a major sucker for polka dots and stripes, but I thought it might be fun to add a different print into my wardrobe. And when I saw this heart printed wrap front top, I thought it was really sweet and definitely something a little bit different. It is very on trend. I've seen a lot of tops like this, very similar to those Realization Par wrap tops. And I thought it was kind of nice. It isn't too low cut. However, you could also wear a little cami if you wanted to protect your modesty a little bit more. And it has these little ruffle cuffs and it's elasticated here. You just kind of slip this one on. That's how it looks. It sort of has this cute little peplum hem and I feel like this would look really great with a high-waisted skirt or just some high-waisted skinny jeans as well. I just wanted to pair it with pink trousers. I feel like the contrast with the sort of dark red heart and the pink looks really nice. So yeah, I think this one's pretty sweet and it's yeah, definitely a departure from the types of things that I already have in my closet. Okay, I'm not going to lie, this, <laughs> this combination looks a little bit like I'm wearing pyjamas, but let's just roll with it. Uh, I saw these really lovely tailored kind of style trousers from Pretty Little Thing, and I thought they'd be a really nice kind of alternative to just a, a plain block color trouser for work. They have an elasticated waistband, which I like, and they actually tie, so you can sort of adjust and tighten them at the waist, which is really nice and pockets. They're a really nice length. They come up just above the ankle, which I think is the most flattering, and they have that peg leg style. So they taper in towards the ankle, which really makes them look quite narrow, in my opinion. I just think it's the most kind of flattering cut. Sorry, please mind the security tag thing, but I think they're a really nice, comfortable fit, and they feel really good quality as well. They feel really weighty, and like they'd make a really good trouser for winter. So. Yeah, I think this one's a really sweet. And they're the type of piece that I think would pair really easily with a lot of the things I already own in my closet. So, I don't know, I quite, I quite like these. <laughs> okay, so we have to talk about this jumper. I've been feeling like red is 100% the color of the moment and I kind of wanted to see if I could incorporate it into my wardrobe in a really natural way and a really big chunky knit kind of seemed like the way to go. This is actually an acrylic and typically I would steer clear of acrylic kind of fabrics for knit sweaters just as I find that they don't tend to wear too well and I much prefer natural fibers as I mentioned earlier. I love a wool sweater, I just or cashmere, I just feel like that's the way to go. Uh, but I thought this would be fun just to try the style out. So this sort of has a funnel neck detail here at the collar which goes up your neck, very warm. This is very, very toasty and has a cable neck uh, detail at the front and also just on the sleeves as well. It's plain at the back and very kind of loose throughout the body but it's sort of semi-fitted through the sleeves which I think is pretty nice. This would look really great tucked into jeans. Um, I've just tucked it into this navy denim skirt from Oasis which sort of fits at the waist and then it has more of a straight style through the skirt which I really like instead of it being sort of more A-line um, and this just sits up at the back, has pockets at the hips, it's just a sort of very basic simple wardrobe piece so I think together they look pretty cute. Now I decided to pick out this next top because it reminded me a lot of a top that Karen Walker did gosh about seven years ago now. It's from an American Girl collection and hers actually had American Girl splashed across the front. It was um, a very kind of oversized but cropped sweater. This one's a little bit longer. This is from a spree, so you can see it kind of comes right down to my hip, but I think it's a very lightweight fabric, so very, very easy to tuck in. I didn't actually realize it has these darts down at the hemline rather than an elasticated panel, so a little bit different. I definitely think this is one that looks a lot better tucked in than worn loose but just a very sort of boxy shape and almost has bat winged style sleeves which are really long. It's very comfortable and it has a sort of a terry towel and style fabric rather than that sweatshirt kind of fabric. Uh, then I also got a coat. This is from Bershka and I thought this looked pretty cute and actually I really like this combination. I think it's really nice. So this is almost a textured boucle style jacket and I really like the colour, this gorgeous little baby blue. I did not realise how oversized this was going to be so I would definitely size down. I kind of went for an 8 or a small in pretty much everything but I think that this is really lovely. I mean it's unlined so it's not going to be too heavyweight so it does feel very warm and I feel like 
This is the kind of thing that would be really great if you live in a warmer climate so you don't need anything too heavy when winter time comes around. So like here in Sydney, it does have pockets. I haven't unpicked them or anything yet. And then it has a pop closure, which isn't my favorite, but I don't feel like it looks too bad on this jacket. That's kind of how it looks done up. But I just feel like it's quite a nice sort of a shape and definitely one that you could throw a lot of huge chunky knit sweaters underneath as well. Uh, then the last thing that I picked up, and I really don't think it's all going to go together, but I tried this on before and I sort of felt like I looked a little bit silly, was a beret. Uh, and I couldn't really figure it out, like, I think it's a little bit too small, maybe my head's a bit too big for it. Mm. Don't think it's for me. <laughs> but I thought I'd try it out because I've seen everybody wearing berets and now that we're coming into autumn here in Sydney, I thought it might be fun to kind of test that style out. So those are all of the things that I picked up from ASOS. I would love to know what you guys think that I should be hanging on to because obviously I'm not keeping all of these items. I'm really only going to hang on to a couple of things. So yeah, drop down in the comments which was your favorite and which one you thought looked best on me. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the style of video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this from me. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.